Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel quick video. This one's gonna be quick. Now, if you're working on any diesel fuel system, what you need to be mindful of, if you've got a setup like this union bolt, see the hollow bolt, see the fuel that goes up through the middle of the hole in the middle there, right, and see the hole there, right? A, don't over tighten them because uh, you might bust it, twist it, or cause a leak. And the other thing is, once you understand, if you've got fuel running through pipes like this, uh, and it's inside the engine, if there's a leak, it fills up your engine oil. So these gaskets here, I know they're expensive and people want to reuse them. They're like 13 bucks each or something. Genuine parts is the way to go. It's something you should be doing once in not very often. So single use only. Uh, torque specification needs to be adhered to also. So if you fit this pipe up and then you remove it again, because you stuffed up the alignment, you didn't watch our videos in the VIP group, you don't know what you're doing, or you went somewhere that doesn't know what they're doing, quite easy to do, because, you know, seems to be a lot of places, you know, I don't wanna, I know there's a lot of good technicians out there, they're just hard to find. So as I've said in other videos, if you think you're good, put your hand up, put it in the comments, um, send me the text message, let's have a chat if we need to, and see if we can't uh, send you some work or have a bit of a chat at least see if you're actually on the same page or not i know a lot of people are pretty nervous about this so anyway i just wanted to say that see as short as sweet as that don't over tighten them torque specification on these ones is 16 newton meters the one at the back is about 13 newton meters it will vary from vehicle to vehicle slightly uh you don't want to over tighten it you don't want to leave it loose you don't want to leak it's as simple as that genuine parts single use only torque specification and that's a video, short and sweet. I'm out of here. Please give us a thumbs up for making it short, especially those people that love short videos. Haven't really got anything else for you related to this. So it's a butter bing. If you do one of these jobs, actually, check your oil level after the job, because if it is filling up, you've got an internal leak. But if you follow all the procedures, if you've got our injector kit and you're in our VIP group and you're watching our videos, carefully, multiple videos, you won't make any of these mistakes and you won't have this issue. Uh, actually, I've got one other thing for you. In our kit, you'll find five of these and you'll find one that's a little bit bigger. It's not the one that goes on the back. It's the one that goes external to the head. You'll only use it if you're cleaning your intake manifold. So it may end up spare like your intake gasket. Intake manifold gasket may be supplied in the kit because you're not sure about whether you need to clean that or not until you've got the EGR valve off. Anyway, guys, I'm out here. Please hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Bada bing, bada boom. We're out of here. Ciao.